um, it's very much like a shop. So our customers. The Dignity Centre is a free market serving up to 1,500 Ukrainian refugees a week. It is based in Moldova and run by Refugee Support Europe. It is located in the heart of the capital city, Chisinau. Everything is bought locally, helping to support the Moldovan economy. When Russia invaded Ukraine, 500,000 people fled to Moldova, which only has a population of 2.5 million. Many have now moved on, but 100,000 Ukrainian refugees remain in Moldova. In response to this humanitarian crisis, Refugee Support Europe had the Dignity Centre up and running within three weeks of arriving. It is professionally run with the help of volunteers. Uh, my name is Olya, I'm from the United States, uh, and I'm here because I think it's uh, really important to not ignore issues taking place in the world just because they aren't happening on your doorstep. This shop provides free food and basic sanitary products to Ukrainians using a point space system. When Ukrainian customers arrive, they are allocated a certain number of points depending on the size of their family. They can choose whatever they like from the shelves, rather than being handed a bag of food packed by others. I think the method of points is really important to people uh, because they have a freedom of choice. They can choose whether if they take uh, food or hygienic items um, and somehow they feel uh, their lives are back to normal. Each week the Dignity Centre buys a tonne of food and hygiene items which volunteers store in the basement. I think all the Ukrainian people that, are, that we are uh, attending here, they are very friendly. Of course, they are sad for all this situation and they really want to come back uh, to their country. But at least here they feel uh, they are treated with dignity. Uh, yes, the people in Moldova are very friendly and all volunteers are nice and uh, are very hospitable. <laughs> So we like uh, to stay here, but we want to, come, to, go, to go home. To operate, the Dignity Centre is entirely dependent on financial donations. Fundraising is so, so incredibly important. No donation is too small. And without generous donations, we are, we are unable to operate uh, where we're most needed. Everyone who volunteers is self-funded and comes from all over the world. Some are from Chisinau too, but with family in Ukraine. I have roots there as well, and I, I think it's a horrible thing that's happening, and especially because it's really close to us. I think we should be willing to help in any way we can, because if this would happen to us, then I would, I would really like someone to help me as well in a situation like this.